This video focuses on examination of the patient's nose, including her external and internal nose and the paranasal sinuses, examination of the patient's mouth, including her lips, oral mucosa, gums, teeth, palate, pharynx, and tongue, and examination of the patient's neck, including her lymph nodes, trachea, and thyroid gland. In this video, the examiner will assess a healthy patient. Other patients may have the same normal findings or may display normal variations or abnormal findings. To begin examining the nose, inspect the anterior and inferior surfaces. Note asymmetry or deformity. I'd like you to sniff gently. Test the patency of each nostril by asking the patient to sniff gently. Tilt your head back. Then tilt the head back, press gently on the tip of the nose, and shine a light into the vestibule. Look for deviation of the nasal septum or signs of inflammation. To inspect the inside of the nose, use an otoscope with the largest ear speculum available. Be sure to insert the speculum carefully, avoiding contact with the sensitive nasal septum. Note the color and condition of the nasal mucosa that covers the nasal septum and turbinates. Normally, the nasal mucosa is redder than the oral mucosa and displays no swelling, exudates, or bleeding. Inspect the nasal septum for perforation or deviation. Look for any abnormalities, such as polyps or ulcers. Repeat this procedure on the opposite side of the nose. Exactly. Before examining the mouth, ask the patient to remove any lipstick or dentures. Then inspect the outer surfaces of the lips for symmetry, color, and moisture. Note any ulcers, cracking, scaling, or masses. With good lighting and the help of a tongue blade, inspect the oral mucosa for color, ulcers, white patches, and nodules. In light-skinned patients, the buccal mucosa is normally pink. In dark-skinned patients, it can range from darker pink to patchy brown. Observe the gums for signs of inflammation, such as redness or swelling. Also, inspect the teeth, noting any abnormalities. Next, inspect the hard palate for color and form. Then, inspect the soft palate and uvula for redness and swelling. As the patient says, ah, or yawns, note their movement. The soft palate should rise symmetrically, and the uvula should stay in the midline. If the patient's tongue obstructs your view, use a tongue blade to depress it as the patient says, ah, or yawns. Finally, inspect the anterior and posterior pillars, tonsils, if present, and pharynx, looking for redness, swelling, exudates, or ulceration. There should be none. Open your mouth and stick your tongue out. Continue by inspecting the tongue. Note the symmetry and color of the tongue. Inspect its dorsal surface, which is normally roughened by papillae and is sometimes covered by a thin white coating. Inspect the undersurface and sides of the tongue and the floor of the mouth. Look for white or reddened areas, nodules, or ulcers. If you need to palpate anything within the mouth, wear gloves. I'm to begin your exam examination of the neck, Could inspect for symmetry, mm -hmm. look for enlargement of the parotid or submandibular glands, okay. and note any visible lymph nodes or scars. If you see any masses or swellings, palpate them for size, consistency, and tenderness. Next, palpate the lymph, the lymph nodes. Using the pads of your fingers, feel for the preauricular, posterior auricular, occipital, tonsillar, submandibular, submental, superficial cervical and posterior cervical nodes, and the deep cervical chain, including the supraclavicular nodes. Note the node's size, shape, delimitation, mobility, consistency, and any tenderness. Normally, some small, non-tender nodes may be felt. Tender nodes suggest inflammation. Hard or fixed nodes suggest malignancy. Now, inspect and palpate the trachea for deviation. Next, inspect the thyroid. To do this, light the patient's neck tangentially from above. 
Now ask the patient to sip some water, extend her neck back slightly, and swallow. Swallow. Observe for upward movement of the thyroid gland, noting its swallow. contour and symmetry. Identify the thyroid cartilage, the cricoid cartilage, and the location of the thyroid gland. Now watch as the thyroid cartilage, cricoid cartilage, and thyroid gland all rise with swallowing. Watch again. Normally, the thyroid and cricoid cartilages and the thyroid gland rise with swallowing and then return to their resting positions. Check your inspection by palpating the thyroid gland from in front of the patient. As the patient swallows, feel below the cricoid cartilage for the thyroid isthmus. Now move behind the patient and place the fingers of both hands on the patient's neck so that your index fingers are just below the cricoid cartilage. Again, ask the patient to take a sip of water and swallow it. Feel for the thyroid isthmus rising under your finger pads. Move your fingers laterally as needed for the anterior surfaces of the lateral lobes. To summarize, examination of the nose, mouth, and neck includes assessment of the external and internal nose and paranasal sinuses, inspection of the lips, oral mucosa, gums, teeth, palate, pharynx, and tongue, and examination of the lymph nodes, trachea, and thyroid gland.